don't be so scared. I wasted a lot of time not showing my work to people because I was worried about what they would say. And what I've realized is that, first of all, the 20 year old me wasn't wrong. Like people would say like, oh, the thing you've written is, you know, fluff or whatever they would say. Like the things that the people I was afraid to show work to would say, they would have said. But what I didn't understand is that just because the loudest voice in the room is saying something that's dismissive of your work. Number one, it doesn't mean that your work isn't worth something. And number two, it doesn't mean that there isn't someone else in the room that's going to say, oh, goodness, like this is incredible. This is exactly what I want. And so I was wasting a bunch of time worried about what a very specific kind of gatekeeper would say about me and my work without realizing that like, I don't actually care that much because that's not the person I wrote it for. Like the idea of identifying who's your target audience. If your target audience is people who love epic fantasy or rom-coms or whatever, you don't have to care what, you know, Mr. High Serious Literary Fiction or Miss High Serious Literary Fiction thinks of your work and you don't have to change it to meet that standard. And so I think really freeing myself up to let my, I think we let fear keep us from doing a lot of stuff. The fear that things are too strange or the fear that things are too, you know, someone won't like it. Those kinds of things. Like, yeah, someone won't like it. I guarantee there will be a whole bunch of people that don't like it. You're not writing for them. You're writing for the people that do like it. 